Robert Cleary. I'm a colon and rectal surgeon here at St. Joseph Mercy Hospital in Ann Arbor. And we have our new robot with us today, and uh, we're demonstrating how the robot works and its application to surgery. It's fun to watch the public actually sit down with the robot and, and use it and see how it works for themselves, and they find that it's a lot easier than th they thought it would be. The robot is a form of minimally invasive surgery, like laparoscopic surgery, and so through small incisions we put these instruments that we attach to the robot, and then the surgeon, through a console, uh, connected to but separate from the robot, controls the robot's movements and performs the surgery in a, in a very fine and delicate manner. This was probably my easiest transition as a surgeon. That is, uh, you spend several years as a resident and fellow learning to do open surgery and uh, learning the nuances associated with that. The transition from open surgery to laparoscopic surgery in its inception in the early 90s was far more difficult than has been the transition from laparoscopic to robotic surgery. And the imaging system is much better with uh, the robot. It's a 3D stereoscopic image that is hard to explain until you see it for yourself. But uh, you clearly see things in the, uh, the organs and blood vessels in the abdomen more clearly with the robot uh, imaging system than you do with laparoscopic. There aren't enough robotic trained surgeons across the country to be able to offer it to everybody. And the other methods, both laparoscopic and open, are effective methods that, that still apply in the year 2010. And so I think it's a, a matter of perspective answering that question. The, the robot, we just can't apply to everybody. Similar, not quite the same as colonoscopy, but similar concept. Colonoscopy is widely available. But when you think about it, only 50% 50 of the people across the country have colonoscopy services available to them. We just can't, don't have the, the resources for the demand. Well, that would be the same with robotic surgery today. Now, that's going to increase, I think, dramatically over the next five years. But the year 2010, that, that's how I would answer that.